Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be talking primarily about the Bravo throttle quadrant and specifically using the Bravo with the 737. If you're like myself and you have rather larger hands you probably find that the airline controls the commercial controls that come with the Honeycomb Bravo are a little on the small side and today I'm going to be showing you a great purchase that you can make on Etsy that bring those control handles to full scale size just as you would find in the real 737. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier two and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Okay guys, so as I said today, we are going to be talking about some add-on controls for the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. What these handles do and these controls do and the D10s do is they basically bring everything to a one-to-one -one scale to what you would find in the real aircraft. Now that doesn't mean the axis throw distance is obviously any different. However, the actual size of the handles themselves are the same size as what you would find inside of the real aircraft. Now this is far more than just a uh, change in the handle size. As you guys can see, it comes with these very awesome detents and these pegs that actually fall very nicely in the detents. And I'm gonna be showing you guys all this in action. You're gonna be able to hear hopefully the, ha the, the haptic sound and the feedback that you get from each position in the detents as well. They work very, very nicely. Um, it's not just the throttle handles. You can see the speed brake. There's the detents that I was telling you about with the peg that drops down into position. It is very, very well done, very nicely laid out. And the flaps required almost no configuration whatsoever. You simply drop them down. I will tell you guys that in the display that you're about to see, there is an issue for me with the speed brake in the aspect that when I put it in the arm position, it actually, you'll see in the aircraft come all the way down to flight detent. That has nothing to do with this configuration. I wanna make that very clear. That has to do with spat dot next that I'm using I just haven't gotten my profile down just right um, I've been fighting with the down versus armed positions when I try to put it in the arm position you'll see the, the speed brake handle come all the way down but that has nothing to do with the quality of the service I want to make that very very clear okay that is all software related has nothing to do with this okay but if you guys see here, as far as the flap settings go, they are absolutely perfect one-to-one -one scale. As you drop it into flaps 10, the aircraft's going to go to flaps 10. And that goes works for any of the positions. Look at the size of the reverser knobs now. It is so freaking awesome having these much larger handles. And again, I'm going to be showing you guys a, a comparison of what the uh, honeycomb version is versus the uh, uh, the flight sim factory version is that we're seeing here on the screen it is very very awesome you get the flap you get the uh, two throttles you get the uh, um, reversers as well as the detent uh, labels that come in and the speed brake handle okay they are very very nice now before anyone i know that this i know the price is probably going to be a point where people are going to be like whoa let me give you guys a little bit of insight real quick into what 3D printing really takes. It is a ton of time and effort between the design period. Um, you have to use a, a micrometer. You have to use like a CAD software. Then you have to, once you get it right and you think you've got it right, you have to transfer it over to the 3D printing so or a file that the pre 3D printing software will read. Then, you know, a print as simple as these two handles, that's probably four or five hours of work easily um, of just sitting there waiting for the printer to do its thing and then hoping that the print comes out right, and then you have to go back through the uh, original process if you have to make any changes. It is a ton of work, guys. I have a 3D printer sitting next to me. Um, it is, it's a headache getting it working. It's a headache figuring it out. I can tell you right now that the price point for what you're getting here and the custom design and the one-to-one -one ratio is absolutely worth it, okay? I wanna make that very clear when you figure in all the hours that goes into getting a, sex, a successful print, much less designing it from the bottom up, okay? So please keep that into consideration. This is not poor quality stuff. This is not something that you can just whip out in a matter of minutes and then they're just charging you a bunch of money for. It is lots and lots of hours of work okay so i just wanted to toss that out there i think 80 dollars for this particular set is very very reasonable 
Now let's go back to his primary website here for a second here so you guys can see all the different um, throttle configurations that he does have available. You have a couple of different configurations you can use. Here's just the pro set that brings you the detents and the flap and speed brake handles. And then you would you just use just the uh, default throttles if you wanted. Um, and then we can come back here again. You guys can see the different aircraft that are also available. Very awesome one here that I am definitely going to be purchasing for myself. It is the Airbus kit. I think this is a very well done Airbus configuration. You've even gotten the buttons there on the side. Um, and I'm going to just look at the flap and the speed brake handles. They look absolutely fantastic. It looks great. I love it. Absolutely love this. Um, I'm definitely going to be grabbing that. Uh, that will be very, very nice to have. And then you can even go as far as he has created a very awesome stand and display set for the different configurations. When you're done with them, you just drop them on these tray. Boom, you're on your way. Hey, that rhymed and that actually wasn't intentional. So now let's get into the good stuff and hopefully uh, you guys will understand the value of what we've got going on here. So now we're going to get. All right. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is look at the comparison in size. This is the default 737 or commercial, I guess you would say this bit. It's a Boeing configuration that comes with the Bravo throttle quadrant. Look at that size difference. That is like night and day, guys. Look how tiny the uh, there's the thrust reverser. Okay versus what we get on the new one here. Okay, so you can pull that down there and you guys can see, again, there's that size difference, massive difference. Here's a comparison with the speed brake handle that will sort of give you guys even further understanding of what you're getting. Massive, massive difference here, okay? So now let's go ahead and take a look at how it feels and hopefully how it sounds. I'm going to do my best to hopefully get this in a position where you guys can truly uh, get an idea of what it sounds like as well and how it feels. Okay, so hopefully that worked out a whole lot better than I'm really hoping. I, I'm not sure um, how well the microphone picked up on the detents, but uh, hopefully that came out really nicely. But guys, I cannot stress enough the difference between pushing forward one of these, right? Taking it with your finger, pushing it forward, and then coming up here with your little finger and bring it up. I mean, you don't even get the feeling like you would get versus grabbing these big monsters. I mean, look at the size of my hand. Like, again, I do not have small hands. So being able to grab these comfortably, push them forward into position like I wish, and then for the thrust reversers, being able to grab the two fingers like you really would and pull them back. And then that real awesome feeling, I, I can't describe it, guys. It's really a big deal. It is super big deal. Um, and it's really a huge game changer and really changes the way the throttles themselves feel you wouldn't think that it would be as big of a deal as it is but it truly truly makes a massive difference I, i'm really impressed even i was not expecting quite the the change that i received with this um i i cannot wait till i get the arm position to work this is what is not working correctly in the uh, simulator as you guys can see on the screen there the we should be in the armed position. We're not. Again, that has absolutely nothing to do with these. That's all software related. I just have to dive in and, and get a little bit more, a uh, little bit more into figuring out, you know, the, the correct curves. But as far as all of that went, the detents for the flaps work perfectly fine right out of the box. And even this, you know, if I go all the way to the up position, um, 
you're not guys are actually i'm just realized i'm sorry i just realized you're not seeing anything my spoiler access is actually disabled right now because i was in the middle of fighting with it um but when uh, i had it enabled the only thing that wasn't working for me was the armed position if i wanted full down right there the flat or the spoilers are completely disabled i was able to move it all the way back to up and they were deployed i just need to figure out how to set the flight detent in the arm position correctly now, one of the things that he does mention right off the bat is there's a little bit of lube that should be going right on the end of these uh, blue contact points that you find here and here. Let me actually just pull one of these off and show you guys. There we go. There we go. So you can see here is where you would put a little bit of lube. Um, and that just, you know, allows it to glide smoothly across. However, I have not done so, and I'm not actually having any issue with it. I probably will do so. I mean, I'm, I'm going to follow the, the, the developer's recommendation. Uh, just in this particular scenario, I didn't feel a need to, and I'm getting ready to move, so it's all going to go into boxing, unfortunately. Um, so I didn't want to waste that, uh, that time there. But, I mean, it sits on very, very nicely. There isn't any major issues that you have to worry about. Um, I, I wish that I could talk about this all day long. I, I just, I know I'm repeating myself at this point. I highly recommend this. It is a massive change in feeling and, and immersion having these much larger handles. I have always wondered why from the start that PMDG, uh, or PMDG, goodness, why Honeycomb went with the smaller controls, uh, versus the, these full size ones. Now, I will say, obviously, this would not work in a four engine configuration. Uh, you just you don't have the access space for that. I don't think. Um, maybe, but I mean, yeah, those are pretty big. Um, but in comparison between these two, uh, it was like I said, it's night and day. Now, to put these on is very simple. You just unscrew the screws that are here, and there's another one here. And you want to use handles, so you can see this is actually engine two. You want to use handles one and then three or four for the right side. Otherwise, you can see you can see this peg is on the wrong side, right? Because they're designed but from honeycomb, they go side by side. You have two of them facing one way and the other two facing the other way, I think. Yeah, that would make sense. I would have to. So you want to use, again, engines one or two for this one, for engine one. And then three or four for engine two. And that's how you get this configuration to line up like this. Same thing with these. Uh, you just pull the, the screw off here at the bottom and swap them out. It's got a nice groove that they sit into. Let me pull one of those off. Come here. It's got a beautiful groove that the uh, reverser handles sit in. You can see it molds perfectly around the handle. Very, very nicely done. Very, very nicely done. You know, like I said, nothing has just been tossed together. It's, it's, there was a lot of, clearly a lot of time and thought put into the development of these. They're very, very smooth. I love the tactile feel. Um, they don't have any kind of rough edges or sharp corners. They're just, they're very, very well done. I'm super excited and very, very grateful that I got the opportunity to review this set. So guys, I highly, again, recommend that you guys give these a shot if you have the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. Um, I'm going to be picking up his A320 set, and I'll be doing the same thing. I'll do another review. I wasn't asked to, um, but uh, I will be purchasing those with my own money um, and definitely bringing them in. I fly the 737 and the A320 almost exclusively when it comes to the commercial aircraft. Um, and then I'll be looking at things like TBMs or something like that. Hopefully, he's got something out there. I actually haven't looked at my TBM, but uh, hint, hint. Uh, flight sim factory <laughs> you would get my attention with things like that but uh let me know what you guys think down in the comments below again a link to the his uh, etsy uh, shop will be available um i got them rather quickly i think it was total time was a little less than two weeks from first contact to uh when they actually arrived um it, the only thing that you have to battle is customs they are coming from uh, canada i believe uh, so if you're in the United States, like myself, it will take a couple of days of delay uh, dealing with customs. That's just anything that you order outside the country. You guys know how that all goes. Um, but uh, once they got through customs, it was bing, bang, boom. They were here. Um, so once again, to the Fly Sim Factory, absolutely fantastic work. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to review this product. I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, to any of you guys who are watching, you guys know that I have... I always give my honest opinion. There have been plenty of people who have said, hey, you know, Overkill, Mike, you know, review this for me. And I've been like, eh, maybe you don't want me to. You know? <laughs> so this is uh, this is definitely, definitely on, on my top 10 list of, of very awesome stuff. 
And what was really cool about it, guys, is I haven't touched the Bravo in a while. I haven't had this thing out probably in, I would say, six months easily. It's been in its covers and hasn't been used since. And in that was a major reason why. And I can tell you right now that these are going to bring my Bravo back to the table. Um, it just, it really is a major game changer and really changed the immersion and just the overall feeling. I'm, I, I mean, I've been sitting here doing this with these for probably the last half an hour before I started the recording, not even realizing. I mean, they're, they're just fun to use. So as always, guys, be sure to hit that like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out the Etsy site. Even if you're not sure if you're going to purchase, maybe you're on the fence, just take a peek at his products, you know, share it with friends who you think that might be interested in. You know, we love third-party developers. This is what makes the sim go around, and uh, it just enhances everything further and further. So once again, guys, as always, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.